head on. I'm going to show you how to set up my way of setting up some steam boilers. I got one that's cold run. And it gets up to 500. This one here gets up to 1,000. This one here is brand with biofuel, which I'll show you how I have it set up. I have a furnace, a test rack. This is what I'm running my quarry from. This is just a backup, just in case. This would stop. I'm not sure if it would blow up, but if you play a lot of these machines, they blow up. Ooh, a little bit of a lag spike here. And uh, I have two turbines set up right here. This one here is running at 100, about 84. It's not doing a bad job. If you had uh, solar panels, then you know obviously it's going to run a whole lot better, but there's a lot of resources, and there's no fun in just building that. But what I have set up is uh, when the trees get cut out here, everything gets sent inside. The saplings go into here, feed this. The firewood goes in here to makes the coal. It goes to the, the steam boiler and also it comes over here and feeds a generator that runs this recycler. And also this recycler will take in the leftover coal or the firewood if this is running too fast, which is pretty good. This is there's nothing left in the in the chest. But I'll show you the rest of this on another video. Let's first make this one. And do the uh, quarry thing. Now let me skip into my other world. It's the same world I just. One I use for uh, practice on, and the other one I build on. Well, I build on both of them, but it's obvious. One's for, for this. To cut the video down a little bit, I've got some of the stuff set up. I, it's a little bit different. I have the, the redstone furnace. Test rack, the steam turbines, which get, uh, I haven't wired up underneath it. You can do it however you want to wire it, but that's the way I wired it. You need your solid fuel boilers and your aqueous accumulator to set underneath. So, I need to, to fix his uh, speed on my power suit. This is like ridiculously too fast. Set up our boilers. We're going to make this from three high. some coal. Reason why I'm, uh, this is you gotta start it up to get to work. So I'm gonna go ahead and because it takes a while. Once it gets it eats pretty hard until it gets to about a hundred and then it'll mellow out. The the biofuel one's really really pretty rough. Okay I, this is for the setup for the next uh for the biofuel, for the liquid board, you'll need a harvester. And depending on how big you need this upgrade, takes as far as you want to go. The higher the upgrade, you go from 10. I think it's before this, and the iron's before the 10, but run your power in. And I do this so it doesn't hog up all the resources. Put your fire log in. And then in the back. See if I can get down in there. I like using this this conduit. This inner out. It's pretty good. You wanna uh settle up to extract. Just, that's all you gotta do and activate without a single. There's plenty of different more settings you can put on there. Always active and and you want this one to insert and we'll just go ahead and put the sapling in there so it doesn't take anything else in. Alright, let's fill this in real quick. I think I 
that too, though. Like, I remember I probably die. I fall through a hole. Fill this in. And. It was a little fast. I guess I'm saying it's a little light spice. I don't know what that is. Finish running your. A lot of times you can't see what's going on. I'm gonna have to break this. It's obvious uh, if you're not in the sky like I am, you'll be able to get underneath a little better. Extract without a single. No way, man. We wanna we wanna insert. Yeah. We'll have to get back there to put uh let's see. Let's see if we can find And I think I had yeah, I need to set the side up too. this one to extract shit I already had there extract I can leave it out single we want to put this if I can get down in there get in there okay Now we're gonna put the the log in here. I thought I had to just put the answer. I can get out of there. All right, let's fill this in. Okay, let's put the other uh, steam turbine in. See if that's building up. It's moving. Once it gets 100, it'll produce some steam. And if I have this, hold on, let me make sure. Yep. It should start running trees. We go ahead and put a couple out there. Kind of give a little bit of a hit start. Maybe something might grow within that few minutes. Alright. And then. I put this tag over here. It's a backup. Mine's a lot bigger. But you can make it as big as you want. Whatever resource you have. I just made this size. Because you, know, you really won't use it. Unless you run out. Of if your quarry is not run or whatever you might use it for, because it's it, that's good for for your uh, thermal expansion. Could remember the name of it there for a second. Let's see. Uh, oops, I got something wrong here. Yep. There we 
game. We need to put a. Uh, these up there. I should have some of them. Well, they're going to let me get in there. So. Make it look all pretty. And there it should be. If I don't have something wrong. Let me in there. I just sat in like that. What do I got? Oh, low pressure bowler. Don't tell me I put a good bit. <laughs> and there's a piece right there. And there's probably a couple more pieces. Doesn't belong here. Yeah. It looks great. And I know I just took out my valves, but uh. Shit. Quit clicking it. We still got just a few more. Let's tear this thing down. Where's my glove at? There it is. Get rid of every piece. Don't look right. Oh, that looks pretty good. Maybe I might need the valves all the way around too. I think I just knocked a piece of it out, but I was good to put the valves anyway. He's got the extra ones. So. I don't know how I blocked it up as well, but. Okay, let's see if we can get the glass in this time. There we go. After all them blunders and mess ups. Okay, you see it's producing steam now. Let's see if we got any trees growing yet. Oh, we got something going on. All right. Shit straightened up. Alright. That's item does. What the heck?
go ahead and grab a foot duct. So what was that one there? Right here. Let's go with these. All right, first thing you don't want come in, let's see. And I believe we're going to need up oh, already out there. Let's put a couple of these down there. These Renek servos. Install that one. Just go in and hit ignore. And see the steam going in. Then we're going to take and pull this out. Put one in here. Now we get steam. Now we should be powering up the redstone furnace. And there we go. It should be collecting the wood. There we go. And I didn't set up the bull yet. That's a uh, we need to pull another line to see what we need. We need a piece of charcoal. I got sad here. Let's see. Need to find a spot. Let's see where would be a good spot. Come down in here. Let's find it and uh, it be right here. Scores will come down and get me. Insert, put a piece of truck on there, and we need to put a piece on extract truck on there. We might need to set the settings. See enough sure which side it is. No, the bottom's good. Set up straight, yeah. Extract. I'm gonna hit the, the right spot here in a second. There we go. And that should be filling up. And there it is. And that should, uh, let me go to the quarry. Let's see which one, I believe it's this one. Nope. Go 
ahead and set this down. I have too much dirt and too much cobble now, so let's see what this does. I just had the quarry plus up like this. I know he's about mining well and all that, but I don't need the cobble and I don't need the, the dirt. But as you can see, and it ain't the boomer ain't even fully hot yet. Let me, oh, wait, let me make sure I have this on the right. Mm. Might be. Let me go back and make sure that that I ain't running off the. Cause that seems a little too fast. Yep, that's running off it. And it ain't fully hot yet. It gets 500. And I've set up for power to get back to the. Power two. And as you can see, it's run like a top. I've seen it go faster, but this is not bad. I took a Zert, convert the rest of steam over and used it for my UU uh, Matter process, but there you go. Nice little setup with the bowler. That tank should be in. Eh, still a little bit, but no idea I put that there just in case this stops. And the bigger it is, it's going to be better. But the reason why I put that there just in case my quarry drops, if I can catch it in time. I'm not sure if it'll blow or not, but you know, when you play these kind of kind of games, you know how it is. And the power coming off of it is pretty cool. Well, maybe not. There it is. You see it, it draws every bit of the energy, and then it'll go. That's because that thing ain't. It, the quarry's sucking it dry, and you're going to get tons of wood. And I can, I'm going to show you on the next video how to get rid of the wood. Okay, thanks for watching.